Hi everyone, Mushy Mushy. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the potion shop. I am the virtual alchemist in virtual island training, Sylvan Aguirre. And today I am playing uh, Death Road to Canada. <laughs> I've, uh, I played this game a long, long while ago when I first started streaming. And I haven't, I haven't played it, I haven't streamed it since, but I've played it a bunch more. Uh, I remember, I think, when I played it the first time, I don't think he got close to <laughs> to making it to the end. So hopefully, hopefully it'll be different this time. I made I made a bunch of custom characters. Uh, I, I updated some of the old ones too. So uh, <laughs> hopefully we'll see some familiar faces on, on this journey. Mm -hmm. Alright, okay, let's go. Dun, dun, dun. New game. And then we are going to be... Uh, don't look at this as a spoiler. We're going to be Sylvan. <laughs> Sylvan hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, he decides to brave the death road and travel north. <clears throat> Some places are death traps. Read the zombie forecast before exploring an area. Mm-hmm. 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 To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. Okay. And I'm pretty sure the best starting location is the, the Walmart area. But I don't think we have it this time. I think let's go rest stop, because at least we can find, like, gas and food. Mm-hmm. Who finds a rest stop along the road? Okay. Ugh, I have a broom. That's it. Wait, 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 why do I have another character? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me restart, cause... <laughs> Can I go back to the menu? I meant, I meant to start solo. Hold on. Nobody this time. There we go. Uh, start the journey, Sylvan decides to grab supplies. Let's go to rest stop. <laughs> nice, nice. <gasps> oh, a lot of food. Thank you, thank you. What? <laughs> <laughs> You can get a lot of gas from the toilets. <laughs> okay, we'll come back to that later. <laughs> uh, let's clear this area out. And nothing. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh. Ah, okay. Safe, safe. <gasps> oh, I can use this. What? <gasps> Gone. Yes, please. Golf club. Hold on, hold on, I want that golf club. What? Uh. <laughs> grab this, grab this, grab this. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I'm streaming a lot earlier than I usually do. Because I was hoping to sort of do a raid on Rainus Room Lair tonight. Uh, found. Nice. Okay, we got a lot of gas. That's good. We're off to a good start. Off to a good start. <laughs> Sylvan goes against his judgment and camps in a city apartment because there's no zombies around. When he wakes up, the building's on fire. Uh, run out now. Sylvan 
Oh, I lost a whole lot of supplies. Uh, unfortunately, all the supplies got left behind that weren't in the car. Darn. The bullets aren't that much of a loss, because I don't really use guns as much. Uh, drives into a city as it starts to get dark. Try not to lose track of time. Things get bad after the sun sets. Okay. It doesn't look that dangerous here. Uh, lost safe house. Let's check it. <laughs> okay, zombies are very slow here right now. I shouldn't take too long. Oh, hi, Casita. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I know. Usually can't make it to my later streams. How have you been? How have you been? <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> like these first few stages of the game are very calming. Because you don't need to worry about too much. As long as you're paying attention. <gasps> Bullets. Nice. Bullets. Bullets. Mm -hmm. I'm doing Gucci. I'm also doing pretty Gucci right now. <laughs> oh, what is this? <gasps> I don't know what that is. Nice. <laughs> Nice, okay. We're making back our supplies that we lost last last event. What? What? Okay. <laughs> okay, it's getting dark. We should leave. <laughs> uh, did I explore everything? Okay, one more room, one more room. What? Come on. No, no food? Okay. And I broke my- I broke my golf club! No! Okay. We should go before it gets too dangerous. <laughs> nice, okay. A lot of bullets. We have a lot of bullets. Seven Loots McDowell's, which was the most popular restaurant in the United States before civilization fell. Even after all this time, the food found here is still preserved due to all the chemicals. Warning. Burging is not great for you, for your health. It won't kill you. <laughs> Search for kids' meal toys instead. Find and eat burgers. Pay the burg price. Hmm. I want a toy. Someone finds one remaining kids meal toy, it's a good one. Pukey bowl. Nice, nice. Someone can find any safe shelters. I was able to cobble together a campsite. The weather's terrible all night. Someone thought the weather was nice. Someone's morale increases. Nice, okay. <laughs> Bandits are guarding a retracted bridge over a river. They demand that anyone passing pays a toll. How much food do I have? 11. That's like almost more than half my food. I should be fine though, since it's just me. I don't want to- I don't want to get into any big fights right now. <laughs> I don't want to go to Canada, it's too cold. Uh, outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. We still find people engaging in trade, with preserved food being the new currency. Ah, uh, okay. Let's go check. Maybe we can sell something. Uh... Hello? Hi. I'm having a fire sale. Absolutely. Everything must go. 60 gas for 3 food? Okay. That's a good deal. Uh... Uh... Hey, uh... 
you should probably, um, uh, okay, you, you have fun with that. Mm -hmm. Go, go, go. Mm -hmm. Still finds a new person, Blake. He is alone and wants to join the team. Uh, no, not Blake. I'm, I'm looking for familiar characters. Well, the city is covered with hordes of undead and wreckage that has, has been touched by previous fire. Sylvan gets surrounded and his only chance is sprinting through the sewers. Ugh. Okay, there's not a lot, not too many zombies, so it should be fine. Let's, uh, let's bring this flashlight with us. And I'll take, I'll use the scissors as my main weapon. All right, let's go. <sighs> just keep going, just keep going. What? <laughs> through here, through here. No, not through here. Ugh. Why are there so many zombies in the sewer? <laughs> mm-hmm. Ah, oh, dead end, dead end. Ah, squeeze through. <laughs> here, here, here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. <gasps> there it is, there it is. Made it. <laughs> it's very easy right now for some reason. Someone feels inspired after magic to survive that situation. He feels like he's getting the hang of this. Choose a reward. Let's put it into fitness. Nice. After a long drive, Sylvan finds a safe place to camp. The night passes with no incidents. <gasps> the house with a generator attached, Sylvan stumbles onto a working computer. It's one of the older, older style ones, when the monitors were built like an enormous brick with glass on the front. <laughs> Sylvan sal salivates. Finally. Finally, a chance to watch YouTube videos. Uh... Yeah, let's get on the internet. Co the computer makes strange piercing noises and stored chirps. What the heck is going on? Sylvan fills with the ancient computer. It is a complete and utter mystery. Someone starts to make headway into understanding very old computers and somehow car repair. Uh, nice. Okay. We leveled our skills up a bit. Mm-hmm. When traveling down a peaceful yet boring stretch of road, Sylvan sees a weird cloud. The cloud looks just like... <laughs> uh, several big flexing biceps. This one sounds like the best one. The cloud looks like a gigantic amount of biceps attached to each other, flexing in pumpitude. <laughs> nice. Sylvan is uplifted and inspired by this. <gasps> Strength increase. Nice. Okay. I feel like this is like the best I've ever done at the start of a game. <laughs> While driving on the death road, Sylvan decides to make stop for supplies. Let's go. I don't know if we'll find a lot of things in an office. Try the suburb. Okay, not a lot of zombies, but they're pretty aggressive right now. Uh, I could also do with a better weapon. Hey, don't hit my car, please. Oh, okay, my scissors broke. Okay, okay, okay. I need a, I need a weapon. <laughs> Weapon, please. Weapon, please. Weapon, please. Ugh. Just run around them. 
nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm finding so many bullets. Ah. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Come on, I really need to find a weapon somewhere. Nothing. Uh, maybe in here. <gasps> Knife. This will work. <laughs> Junk. Oh, ton of food. Ton of food. And bullets. Ugh. Okay, don't get hit. Don't get hit. Careful. Okay, that room was good. Nothing in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, so much food. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my god, so many bullets. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, oh, no! Oh, I got the hair. I got hurt. I got hurt. Oh my gosh, okay. Time to leave. Time to go. <laughs> go, 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 go! Start the car! Start! <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Okay. Alright, we found a lot of things. It's Amelia Watson. It's nice to see, see a familiar face. She was found trying to pull open a door that said push on it. <laughs> nice, nice. Recruit. Onward to Canada. <gasps> New party member. Group sets, sets up camp late. On the nearby highway is a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but many should have a little bit of gas. Would you like to send someone to siphon out the gas? Hmm. I will send... Uh... Hmm. Pink chameleon. Oh, wait. Hi, Max. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Amelia you know, siphons the gas but accidentally swallows a bit and gets really, really sick that night instead of sleeping. What? Okay. Not bad, not bad though. <laughs> a 
dis a storm descends on the group. In the parting ring, the zombies of the city search for the living. Uh, not a lot of zombies, but still kind. Still pretty aggressive. Doing good, how are you? I'm doing really good. Mm hmm. I I am playing uh, Death Row to Canada right now, which is a roguelike zombie uh, game. I think. Let's search the apartment with the bark banner. Alright, as long as we don't stay here too long, we should be fine. Uh, I added a bunch of char um, custom characters for this run. So, a lot of my own VTuber friends and like other VTuber people. Uh, okay, not good place. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> a lot of zombies in here. Uh, we're gonna get him, get him, Watson, get him, Watson. You got this. We got this. We got this. No. <laughs> okay, not good. We're not not a good place. Ah, uh, sorry, Watson. <laughs> Uh, if you want, in the next one, I can add you and Max. Oh, dog! Dog seems unusually tame. Most dogs are so alive, have become a feral at this point. This dog seems eager to see humans. Let dog follow me. Arlo. Nice. Okay. You will. You will replace Watson. Hey, Monstercraft. Welcome. Oh, okay, zombies are super aggressive in here. Okay, okay, it's dangerous. Let's not be here too long. I just showed up. Why does this always happen right when I show up? What happened? What happened? We're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. Mostly, mostly bullets, but that's fine. Arlo catches up with Sylvan at a safe spot. He seems like he wants to stick around. Recruit. Onward to Canada. Let's go. My car is not looking very good. <laughs> group is blocked by another survivor group that set up a barricade to protect themselves. They are distrusting and heavily armed. The person they sent to talk is extremely annoying. We should try to deal with him. Hmm. I think I have a good morale, so that should probably help me. Someone talks to an annoying representative. He somehow doesn't notice all the times the dingus is annoying or insulting. The meeting goes well and the group is let past. Nice. <laughs> it's because I have the oblivious trait on my character. Uh, it gets late and there's no great place to camp. So the zombies hobble around the far distance, and one might sneak up on the group while they sleep. We should stay up on watch. Uh, I will. Someone stands watch for roving zombies. Manage to stay awake. Nice. The car is broken down from you, so okay. I think my mechanics are probably better than the dogs. He completely fails to repair the car after wasting a day on it. <laughs> car abandoned. Okay. We'll find a better car. We'll find a better car. Uh, the group is robbed by big bandits. Bandits are of a kind that would normally not be a problem if the group had a car or wasn't tired from walking all day. Bandits nervously demand nine food to pass safely. How much do I have? That's all my food. I can't give you all my food. <laughs> what is this? What is this option? Someone says something like, 
what did you say? But really, he just didn't hear them. The bandits misunderstand this and are very intimidated by Sylvan. They flee and scatter. Sylvan has no idea what happened, but is glad the bandits are gone. Nice. Oblivious is the best trait. <laughs> the group decides to set up camp for the night and try to eat a meal. Nice. Mm -hmm. How far is it to Canada? Ten driving days until Canada, I see. While walking along the outskirts of town, Sylvan finds a small sporting goods store. It's picked clean of loot. Thing all is lost, Sylvan spots an old SUV in the back of the store. SUVs have bad gas mileage and are slow. They're also very durable. Okay. Nice, nice. I thought I'd have to fight for this. Wait. The group tries to rest in the house but is ambushed by a giant spider. Well, maybe it's a normal spider, but it looks gross. The spiders rapidly drain the group's morale. I, I meant... Oh, I didn't mean to pick that. Oh well. <laughs> While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. A graveyard with car or dark dark mansion sounds cool. The group runs into an enormous mansion. There can be a lot of loot in here. A lot of zombified looters wandering around in the dark. Okay, not too big of a swarm size. As okay, as long as I'm careful, it should be fine. Uh, wish I had better melee weapons. <laughs> Protect me, dog. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, got hit. Got hurt. Got hurt. Ow! 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 <laughs> I'm just gonna try and run and get as many things as I can. What? This is essentially Murphy's Law of the game. Yeah, it is, basically. Things, like, go wrong so fast, like, right now. Oh my god. Protect me, dog, please. Okay, time to go. Ah, no, 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 no! Ow, ow, ow. Move, move, move. <gasps> ah, no! No, 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 no! <gasps> oh. oh, wait, I'm Arlo now. Leave, 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 leave. Where's the door? I can't see! Exit, exit. I see it. Uh, uh, let's go, let's go! Uh, I never knew Oblivious was that overpowered. I always went with Paranoid. Oblivious is pretty helpful, because it lets you ignore a lot of the bad things. Uh, is this a spicy modern Oregon trail? Kind of, kind of. If you've ever seen, um, there's actually like a zombie version of Oregon Trail called Oregon Trail, and that's also a really good game. I might buy- I might, uh, play that on stream too, because that's really fun. This is like the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure of Oregon Trail. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. With no one left to drive the car, the journey to Canada is at an end. Oh wait, there's still a dog alive. Arlo thinks of one word in his primitive animal mind. Canada. Arlo gets the keys, puts them in the car ignition, and starts it up. Onward to Canada. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We need to get this dog to Canada ASAP. Arlo finds a new person, Gavin. No. Mm -hmm. Arlo sets up camp outside a grocery store. He notices another group has been following him. I'll probably attempt to loot the place. Uh, let's loot it before them. Uh, Arlo grabs some cans of food that were on the shelves, avoiding a sparse amount of zombies. Another group of looters come in. The looters start shooting. They really want those cans of food. Arlo runs back to the camp for a fight. They never follow, but Arlo stays up the whole night. Mm. <laughs> How is the dog driving a car? 
I look checks out what appears to be a traitor settlement. He's instead ambushed by bandits who have taken it over. One of them looks injured. They demand. Oh, wait, it's just an animal. False alarm. <laughs> the bandits let Arlo go. I wonder if we can get like a whole car of like just dogs. But. We have eight food left. Unexpectedly, Arlo finds someone we can trade with. Okay. Uh, hello? This is also a dog. Arlo finds a dog surrounded by a bunch of ammo. Dog speaks. Welcome to Ammo Emporium. Everything must go. It offers five bullets, four rifle ammo, three shotgun shells per food item. Mm, no thank you. Hello? Arlo finds a twitchy man selling homemade bombs. No thanks. I need like melee weapons. Uh, Arlo sees a woman standing near a stockpile of crates. Uh, I don't have anything. <laughs> what do you want? Spare gas. No, I need all, all the gas I can get. One of the four dogs to use the shotgun. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, Gage is tired. I know. No, only dogs. Only dogs. This is a dog only car. Uh, Arlo runs into a horror tooth. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay, I gotta survive for an hour. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, gosh, okay. Luckily, I'm faster than humans. I just need to dodge for an hour. That should be fine. That should be fine. I can do this. Oh, more zombies are digging up from the ground. Don't let them get me, don't let them get me. Uh, this way. No? No. No, 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 no. Bad end, bad end. I can get them. <laughs> I just need to keep kiting them around. This way, this way, this way, this way. Oh, no, that's a dead end. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, oh my god. Okay, the dog is so fast. Okay, go, go, go. Out, out. Leave, leave. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Arlo feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. Feels like he's getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the survivor. Uh, let's do... Mechanical. So we can fix the car. <laughs> Arlo's mechanical is better than mine. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get this. Yeah, it's a fun game. It's a fun game. It's also multiplayer too. Uh, Ar Arlo finds a large campsite that's occupied by a few carloads of other survivors. Camping with strangers is risky, but there's nowhere else to go. It should be fine. Oh, yeah, nothing unusual happens. Good. <laughs> Arlo stumbles across someone's camp pin behind an empty town. There's a woman dressed in medieval clothing like she's at a renaissance fair. She's sparring the air with a fencing foil. She stops slashing her sword eventually, but never puts her rapier down. When talking to her, she seems like a pretty normal person despite appearances. He seems cool. Okay, we can recruit her. Stacy points her sword to the sky and belts out. <laughs> No one can stop my blade. Ho ho ho. It's briefly unsettling after she was talking so normally. She then slashes the air in a grand fashion while laughing for about four straight minutes. Okay, I like her. <laughs> Wait, do we get... Oh. The car has completely run out of gas and coast to a stop. Okay, we need a new car again. I'm walking along... Inside a large stream, Stacy notices some fish in the water. Stacy tries their luck, goes into the water, tries to catch the fish by hand. 
By some miracle, Stacy is able to catch a decent sized catfish. Nice, okay, our morals, morale is looking really good. Oh, Joe Sama, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the group continues walking through the countryside. It is very, very uneventful, but at least there are no zombies or dangers in sight. Okay. How many more days to Canada? Let me check. Uh, eight more days. Wandering through a small town, Stacy discovers a new hybrid car in front of a store. The battery is dead, but the store turns out to be a car parts store. Finding a working battery is easy. Hybrid cars have amazing gas mileage, but are fairly fragile. Uh -huh. The group is ambushed by a yelling man. He's ranting and raving. He doesn't look particularly dangerous, but those rants are starting to sizzle. <laughs> Find him or run away. Uh huh. We can take him. We can take him. Look. The group fights a cantankerous man. It's over very quickly. But he ended up doing some damage before he ran off. <laughs> Hi, Reno. Welcome. Welcome. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're not late. You're not late. Um, I'm, I mean, I did die already. <laughs> I, I died already and a dog took my place. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Let's go to the junkyard. The group spots a landfill. Okay, maybe we can find some gas here. Oh nice, it's a Prius. <laughs> I'm a dog now. What? Safe is locked, closed, and too sturdy to destroy. With luck, the combination of key will be around here somewhere. Where could it be? Oh, in the bathroom. Mm hmm. No. Did you set something on fire? No, not yet. I rescued this dog, and then, um, I died, so he took my place. And then, and then I found this, uh, Ujrosama, and she's, like, protecting me now. <laughs> ah. Dog with a crowbar. <laughs> Where's the combination? <laughs> it's so cute when like the dogs get a melee weapon and they're, they're hopping around on two legs. Ugh. The combination has to be here somewhere. Bullets. Food, bullets, medicine. Mm -hmm. Is that it? <gasps> nice, nice, okay. The dog really is the best boy in the game. Mm hmm. Sylvan is best boy RL. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Silver. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, along with some now useless papers, it had. Oh, I get to choose. Okay, I'm not really using bullets, so I think the food would probably be best. All right, let's go. Let's go. Mm hmm. <laughs> Gosh, she killed so many zombies. <laughs> We're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. It's nearly time to camp, but there has been a lot of signs of bandits today. Someone needs to be awake in case of an attack. Uh, I'll be. I'll be the watchdog. Uh, Arlo stands guard for the night, but he manages to stay awake, but feels pretty bad in the morning. Hmm. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. While driving on a death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. 
Let's go to grocery store. Uh, swarm size is thick, and the zombies are irritated. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm -hmm. uh, is this made by the pen paper RPG team? I don't know if it is. I've played those games before. But, hmm. Not entirely sure. Ugh. Okay, okay. This might be a bad place. We might need to just leave, actually. Ah, she's getting tired. We should leave. We should leave. We should go. Let's go, let's go. We have enough food. We have enough food right now. Oh, get in, get in, get in. <laughs> oh, okay. I need more medicine. <laughs> A tail of no dress and a nearby pedal dog. Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, the group spots a group of bandits that have set up a checkpoint on the road. Someone from the team could be sent to distract the bandits so the car can get through. It would have to be someone calm and trustworthy. Okay. I'm pretty sure Arlo's loyalty is very... is very low. So I might have to send Stacy. Okay, her, okay, her loyalty is so high. Stacy sent to distract the bandits so they leave the car checkpoint. Stacy doesn't sell Arlo out to the bandits. She distracts them from afar and runs. They give chase and the car is able to get past. Stacy sneaks around the checkpoint later and rejoins Arlo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The drive to Canada used to take a few days, and most. The apocalypse filled the roads with debris, hordes of zombies, and lots of stranded cars. It's now a long trip. The group runs into a training camp. You have 26 food left. <gasps> we can buy things. Hello. This trader is waving sturdy military flashlight? No. Oh, what are you selling? The group meets a man who is carrying many swords. They clank around as he moves. Uh, one day I'll make the finest zombie slicing sword I've ever seen. I just have to figure out how to make swords first. I'll sell you some I found. Uh, the katana is like the worst weapon in the game because it breaks so easily. <laughs> uh, oh gosh. What are you selling? Uh, shotguns, no. Nothing super useful here. Oh, I wish I could drive this ice cream truck instead. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> uh, at the end of the day, the group hides in a drafty old house. Some zombies roam around outside, and the doors of the house are barely on their hinges. Should someone barricade the house? Uh, let's have Stacy do it, because she has, like, hands. <laughs> Uh, she improvises. The results don't look pretty, but managed to keep the zombies out. Nice, nice. Okay, leveling up our skills. That's good, that's good. I've never actually gotten to Canada in this game. <laughs> so hopefully... This is seems like a very promising run. Group sees a city in the distance, with zombies crowding the streets. Okay. Zombies are pretty calm. Let's check the coffee shop. She's so good at killing zombies. <laughs> she like one shots everything. Find some more food. Blah. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> uh, nothing in here. This is a dead end. Oh, my dog is getting tired. <laughs> Oh, Sylvan forgot to ask. Have you ever played Don't Starve? Do you use the phrase kiting? Um, I I have played Don't Starve. I'm not good at it. I, don't, I think I've only survived a couple days at most. Uh, but... Sylvan, don't kill me. The do I'm the dog. I'm the dog. I still have you in the game, Tara, as an NPC. We haven't... We haven't run into you yet, though. Um, yeah, but no, I learned... I learned the term kiting from, like, when I played, like... Uh, MMOs and stuff. Uh, this enormous and complex coffee machine was built to survive a few different kinds of end of the world scenarios. This was a big part of the, this coffee shop's marketing campaign. Truth and advertising still works. Uh, yeah, let's give the dog some coffee. Arlo sprays some coffee into an old cup lying around and drinks it. Feels all coffeeed up. Nice. What does that do? Arlo drinks even more coffee and then feels pretty sick afterwards. <laughs> it's hard to say if it was the massive amount of caffeine, but both the cups of the coffee has been running for an unknown amount of time. Ah, uh, okay. Should I get more coffee? You can never tell, you can never tell what your decisions will, will do. I feel like if I do this one more time, something might, something good might happen, or or Arlo will die instantly. Because <sighs> I've had that happen before. I won't risk it. I won't risk it. I won't kill the dog. I won't kill the dog. He's fine. We're leaving. We're leaving. But like, what if we give him like, what if we give him like so much coffee that it makes him like invincible? Achieve your final form. It, I would if I wasn't playing as a dog. I, I would feel so bad if I killed the dog by giving him too much coffee. Uh, Stacy meets another survivor who rants about seeing an oiled up bodybuilder that was too swole to control, ripping zombies in half after bench pressing them. <laughs> Everyone in your group looks at each other nervously. <laughs> mm -hmm. Aru! The group is sitting around a campfire. Finding this campsite was rough, so they are getting in a bad mood. The group eats a decent meal. Sing a song, or Stacy plan out tomorrow. Plan out tomorrow. <gasps> he plans it the next day. It's a good use of time and helps them focus on the big picture. Stacy's morale increases. Nice. It just gives you anxiety. I already have anxiety. The group finds a street in a town that has traps all over it. Pits and pits with blankets put over the top. Snares everywhere. Spikes on barrels. A door with an obvious guillotine over it. And these are just the visible ones. Send a scout to explore for loot. I... It's so scary because I know some of these events end in like instant death. And this seems like this would be one. Uh, I'll, I'll walk away. I'll walk away. We're so far. I don't want to take too many risks. Uh, how many days away are we anyway? Only five days left. Let's visit the trader camp and see what they have. Uh, 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 uh. Hello. Uh, do you have any spare gas? I'm running out. The officers will give you two cans of food for any 25 units of gas. You have nine gas left, not enough to spare. Coffee gets rid of morning sadness for me. Uh, me too. Well, I drink I drink tea in the morning, and at night, and the afternoon. And that works for me. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, what are you selling? Rifle. Oh, sh sh it's shooting training. I don't use guns, though. Uh, who else is here? 
Oh, do you train mechanics? Okay, that would be helpful. Let's level up our mechanics. Is it normal for me to sleep shortly after drinking coffee? That is normal for some people, actually. I know, um... Uh, some people who have ADHD, if they have caffeine, it actually makes them tired. It's very interesting. Uh, give the mechanics training to Arlo. Oh, my mechanics is getting high. Nice. This dog is so good at repairing cars now. T is amazed, but it doesn't activate my neurons. Hmm. starting to break. Come on, start, start, start. Oh, good, good. Nice. We're almost there, we're almost there. Oh, no. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> Group tries to evade a large horde. Blocked by debris, they get stuck in a Yalmart parking lot. You're going to have to fight here for a while. We only have to, we only have to survive for an hour. It's not too bad. Why is the car smoking? It's normal. That's fine. We'll be fine. You just gotta fight all these Walmart zombies. Oh. Come on, come on. This is such a narrow fighting area. Come on, come on. Okay, we gotta keep moving, we gotta keep moving. Can't stop, can't stop. Okay, go around again, go around again. Oh! Please don't get stuck, please don't get stuck. Oh, she got hurt. She got bit. Go. Okay. Hit the road. Hit the road. Oh. It's okay. We have medical supplies. We'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> Car is broken down. Arlo can fix it. Arlo can fix it. Arlo pops to the hood of the car. He somehow manages to get the car running, but it takes a full day. The next time this car breaks down, Arlo won't be able to repair it unless his mechanic skill is higher. Hmm, okay. We fixed it! The dog fixed the car, it's okay. We're out of gas, we have to leave the car. <laughs> While trekking through the woods, the group gets pretty lost. If they keep going like this, they'll waste a lot of time. Uh, Stacy will climb a tree. Stacy decides to climb a tree to get a better vantage point on the surrounding area. She climbs a tree with little effort. It's fun exercise. She spots something in the distance. Her morale goes up. We need a new car. It's raining. <laughs> the group attempts at camping is interrupted by a very angry bear. They are forced to abandon the camp with little sleep. They must make a panic decision about what to grab fast. Fight the deadly bear. We don't have a lot of medicine left. I'm fine. What do we have? How much food do we have? 11. I'm fine losing all the ammo, honestly. Either I need to either grab the food or fight the bear. I'm not sure. Uh... Weapons. I don't think we need to grab the weapons because she has her sword. And also, I'm a dog, so I don't really need a weapon. Mmm. <laughs> I want to fight the bear, kind of. Let's fight the bear. Ah, okay, we got- we both got hurt. But we got our stuff. So we're fine. Calculate the risk. Uh. 
Nice, okay. And Stacy's learning medical stuff. Good. We're good. <laughs> we lost... Ugh. Walking through the woods, Arlo doesn't pay attention to where he's going and falls into a deep puddle of water. His gear is fully submerged, putting supplies in danger. Okay. Not good, not good. The group is hiking down a gravel road when they see a group of wrecked cars ahead. Chances are there's gasoline in some cars, and one may still work. Okay. The zombies are calm, but it's very dark right now. So we gotta be fast. Grab some gas on the way. Oh, come on. Stacy, come on. Ugh. God, she's so good at killing zombies. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, nice, okay. New car, new car. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. Uh, let's increase our mechanical so I can fix the car again if I need to. <laughs> I might actually get to Canada this time. The group camps out in a pro shop near a golf course. Stacy looks out the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching from the driving range. Arlo Hotwire's a golf ball collector. That one's- <laughs> I like that one. Let's try this one. Uh, Arlo jumps into a golf ball collector and starts running over zombies. It's surprisingly effective. By the time the collector breaks down, most of the zombies are taken care of. Nice. I'm a very smart dog. <laughs> the group finds an isolated car garage. The sign says Master Tuners. They find some gas and lots of spare parts in good condition. Oh. Car repair and tune-up. Let's do that. Arla tries to repair the car in the hope it goes a little further before breaking down. He expertly repairs the car in no time at all. The car runs like new. Nice! Nice! Okay. Arlo is a very good dog. Driving on the death road, the group decides to make stuff for supplies. Uh, what do we need? Uh, food. We need food. I think we're more likely to find food in the arcade than the sporting goods store. So let's try that. How does a dog learn all this again? Uh, I'm a human, this canine is one up me. Oh. I saw my Slummy, thank you for joining the adventuring party. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Wait, cool runnings. No, it's okay. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm not seeing any food in here. Ugh. Oh, don't get cornered. Come on. Move, 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 move. Oh, we have, like, no medicine. So please don't get hurt. Oh, there's nothing in here. Oh, this place is a maze. Oh, vending machines. <gasps> okay. Three food. Not the best, but... Ah, four food. Ah. Ah. Come on, come on. One more, one more. There we go. Okay. What is this? The arcade machine seems to be working. It's not very clear how it can run without electricity. 
Arlo considers taking a video game break while he is guarded. Arlo dismantles the arcade machine. Arlo plays the arcade machine. Hmm. Let's dismantle it. Maybe we can get something useful. Uh, <laughs> Arlo starts taking the arcade machine apart to see how it runs. After some quick rooting around, he figures out the reason. It turns out all these old arcade machines are gas-powered. Arlo carefully, Arlo carefully drains the gas out of his compartment. 47 gas? <gasps> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, hopefully we just need to find some food now. <gasps> oh, another one! We'll have so much gas. Uh, okay, what if we play it this time, actually? Arlo plays an old arcade game named Death Road to Canada <laughs> and really gets into it. Like all video games ever made, playing it increases your skills with guns. The critics were right. Before Arlo knew it, two hours had passed. Okay. Nice. Okay, that brings our... Oh, it's very dark now. Okay, we might play the video game for too long. Uh, let's go. Oh, it's gonna be so hard to find the way out of here now. Ugh. This way, I think. Ugh. Oh god. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Do I have... Do I have... Oh, I don't have a flashlight. <laughs> escape, escape. Go, go, go. There's the exit. <gasps> come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Alright, five food. Not bad. We're fine. The group now has the magazine Cool Runnings. Who should get to read it? Uh, I'll read it. He absorbs the content. Sadly, he ruins the magazine for others due to his grimy paws. Ah, oh, increases our fitness. Nice. <laughs> Hockey sticks are good weapons. No wonder Canada is doing fine. Uh... <laughs> There's a dog wandering nearby. It's keeping its distance from watching the group with guarded interest. It's become rare to see a dog that trusts people. You have two food left. Ugh, we don't have the food to spare. I'm sorry. Three days left. Uh, it's just another day on the death road when someone farts in the car. Drama and mystery consume the team. Pick someone to blame. Uh, let's play Marlo. He's a dog. <laughs> wow, what a bad dog. Oh. <laughs> While driving death road, this group decides to make a stop for supplies. Let's stop at Fancy House. Group spies a house that looks expensive from the outside. There must be something in there worth checking out. Okay, zombies are very calm right now. <laughs> I need food. We need food. Oh, kitchen. <gasps> food? Food? God, she's so good at killing zombies. <laughs> God, she like destroys everything in her path. Oh my God. Madison. Come on. 
Oh, a lot of bullets. Uh, let's lock the combination. Oh, Arlo cracks the safe. Do it. <gasps> uh, give us 10 medical. That's more important. What? Okay. We gotta get out. Come on, get out, get out, get out. That's enough. I think that's enough for now. We're fine. Okay, I might have made a mistake staying here for so long. Come on. Come on, make our way out, make our way out. Ugh. I'm I'm risking so much. Uh let's go, let's go. Nice, okay, that's enough medicine. To heal everybody up. Camps in a sturdy building seems to be an old repair shop with busted machinery laying around. This would be a great time to train with repairing things, but that would make a lot of noise. Uh, Arlo is like max level mechanics right now, so we shouldn't. We could just go to sleep. A deer has stopped in the middle of the road. It stares at the car. Run the, deer, run the deer over. I don't want to break our car. Uh, we do need food. We do need food. Stacy takes a shot at the deer from one of the car windows. She makes a shot, bagging the deer while also going against any sense of hunter ethics. Nice. The group doesn't know much about preserving game, but they clumsily cook some meat to pack into the car. Nice. Okay. With what? With their sword, obviously. Hmm. While driving on the death road, while I make stuff with supplies. Uh, definitely not the gym. <laughs> okay, zombies are aggressive. <laughs> oh, we could take this food truck. Is there anything else worth grabbing? No? Just chucks a short sword at it, yeah. Like a javelin. <laughs> Stacy's like killing machine. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. We're gonna We're gonna step back for a bit. <laughs> Let's draw all the zombies out of here first and then we'll go after all that loot. We don't wanna get stuck in there. <laughs> we'll, we'll draw all the zombies out first and then go inside. That should get us all that food. As long as we take things slow, we should be fine. It's only 10 a.m. right now, too. Okay, let's peek inside. Not bad. Okay. Grab it, grab it, grab it. What is this? Oh, machete, no. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Keys! Okay, I'll take that. Ugh. Wait, 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 what happened? They got her? Uh. Wait, wait. Oh god, she must have gone tired. Okay. Your sacrifice won't be forgotten. I didn't expect her to die so easily. <gasps> Whoa, it's Gomi! It's nice to see a familiar face. He stretches, then he stretches some more. It's an elaborate stretching routine. Nice. Get in here, Gomi. 
Onward to Canada. We're taking Komi home. The group is sitting around a campfire, resting for a brutal day tomorrow. The group eats a decent meal. She died how she lived. Uh, let's tell some scary stories. The group decides to tell scary stories. Gomi makes his scary story about dancing skeletons. Ah, uh, everyone's morale goes up. The group has fun, but doesn't get enough sleep and is tired the next day. Okay. If only we knew about throwing chairs when the zombies first showed up. Uh, the group flew to the dentist's office, finding some leftover medical supplies and many technically edible tubes of toothpaste. Gomi goes to the waiting room and grabs a magazine from the sparse collection. Uh, let's read... Uh, questionable science. Nice. Gomi feels pessimistic about the magazine's prediction of flying hover cars in a few years. Now that civilization is more or less destroyed. It was still a pretty entertaining magazine. Nice, nice, nice. <gasps> Wait, are we here? Are we here? One more driving day in Canada. This is the farthest I've ever gotten in this game. An enormous army of undead shambles around the carnage that surrounds the border to Canada. Many have tried to get through. Most only succeed in having their bodies added to the horde. Maybe your team will be different. This is the last chance to trade. Good luck. You have 18 food left. Oh, I wish Stacy was here to see it. Hello, what are you selling? Uh, I only have 10 gas. What are you selling? Uh, I don't have any weapons to sell you. Hmm. What are you? I don't think I have guns. Herschel almost made it to Canada. He got as far as the City of Crushed Hopes, where the rest of his group were eaten. He offers to join you for 10 food. He has a real good feeling about this attempt. Hmm. We can, we can use him. We can use him as a distraction. Hello. He offers one metal item for each item of food. Okay, let's, let's give him the rest of our food. We don't really need it anymore. Uh, what are you selling now? She'll join you for a small fee of five food. I don't have anything. Uh, this man is selling anime and anime accessories. Wait, I'll buy f five shuriken for one food. Here you go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Last stop. Oh, okay. Giant armies of undead perpetually lurch around the Canadian border. Unable to cross, the group gets caught up in a lesser swarm before they can find a safe camp. Okay, this is not, we're not at the final, we're not at the final level yet. Is this, a, is this a good weapon? I think my crowbar is pretty good. It hasn't broken yet. What can we give to Gomi? Let's give him... Let's give him the golf club. We'll give him the Pokemon ball. And then we'll give him the throwing stars. And then Herschel can... Have a gun. And his flashlight. I'm pretty sure the golf clubs break like super easy. Okay, we all just gotta survive, work together. Oh! Get out, get out, get out. Get him, get him, get him. Oh. We shouldn't have listened to those scary stories because I'm too tired to fight right now. Sneak through, sneak through. 
Oh no, we're being cornered. No, 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 no. Oh, can we make it? <sighs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, I think this might be the end. No, they broke the couch. Come on. Come on, make it through. <gasps> oh, they got Gomi, they got Gomi. Oh, no. <gasps> the siege is over, you can now try to escape. Who's left? Oh, no one. Oh, no. We were so close. Ugh. Okay, okay. Let's do, let's do one more, one more run. If only it was just I, <laughs> I shouldn't have relied on her too, so much. I shouldn't have relied on her so much. Because I think, I think she must have gotten too tired to fight in the cabin. Oh, uh, new game. We're gonna do familiar familiar characters mode. So we'll we'll run into more people. Gosh. I can't believe we lost all three people on that one. At least we have to play Sylvan again. Uh, uh gotta go, Sylvan, thank you for the stream. Thank you, thank you for coming, uh Sil Silver. Hope to see you again. Hope to see you again. Uh, Yalmart. Let's go to Yalmart. Okay, let's try to find as much food as possible. One. Two. Oh, umbrella. Nice. Madison. Food. Gasoline. Nice. <laughs> We'll build a better team. We'll build, build a better blah, blah. We'll build a better team this time. Is that everything? Mm. Usually there's a lot more stuff in Yalmart. Gosh, okay. All right. Calibrate myself. <laughs> Sylvan sets up camp for the night after being sure there's no danger. Ah! He discovers edible berry bushes. Nice, okay. Good, good, good. Uh, Sylvan reaches the city as it starts to rain. Drizzle seems to rile up your local zombies. Let's. Let's get more food. Food's really important. I have a pink car? Oh my god, nice. I didn't realize. Da, da. <gasps> yeah, a ton of food everywhere. Mm-hmm. 
What does that mean? What? Explode, explode, explode. Nice. <laughs> okay, that's good for now. Oh, I hope I can keep this car. <laughs> Just run over zombies with the car. Yeah, exactly. Uh, a fast and fancy car pulls up to you dramatically. The driver shouts from his window. On the death row, the only way to survive is to be fast and also, fu also furious. <laughs> I don't want to wreck this car. Uh, ask for rules. Silva isn't clear on the rules of drag racing. The only rule of drag racing. Is that there are no rules. The driver then goes on to ramble on about a long list of drag racing rules. At around rule 60, Sylvan slowly drives away. The driver keeps talking. Okay. Family. We need to find we need to find some hitchhikers so we can start our own family. Sylvan finds a large camp large campsite that is occupied by a few carloads of other survivors. Uh, camping with strangers is risky, but there's nowhere else to go. Uh, yeah, let's camp with them. Yeah. I feel like camping with other people is probably really safe. <laughs> if you ignore him, he will ram your car. <laughs> That's why it's good to have the oblivious trait. <laughs> it gets you out of so many situations. Sylvan si siphons gas from some abandoned vehicles and spots a magazine in one of the cars. An it's an issue of prepared preppers, the special edition, in mint condition. He studies its now justified wisdom. Nice. Skills up. <laughs> Outside of canon, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging in trade. Let's visit them. I have so much food now. Hello? Sylvan sees a man st standing near an SUV. Do you have any spare gas? I'm running out. Mmm... I can give him... 50 gas. Nice, okay. Let's see... what we can buy in here. If there's an anime salesman, I want to buy some coin- ah! <laughs> You're not an anime salesman! <laughs> Where did you come from? There's an anime sales when I want to buy some cool swords. Uh, that person's selling sledgehammers. They're selling bullets. Hmm. What are you selling? Uh, gun training. No. Nothing too useful here. <laughs> it's actually turned out to be a nice day today. Oh my gosh, it's Taro! Oh my god, is that the Taro Ishikawa? Recruit. Onward to Canada. Let's go. Taro's attitude is. <laughs> Uh, car gets stuck in the ditch near a crappy dirt road. The group is close to getting the car out when a roaming horde draws near. Now they must distract the zombies from getting too close. Okay, not bad, not bad. We can do this. Come on, Taro. Come on, Taro. We just gotta survive for a bit. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, Taro, 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 Taro. Oh no, okay. That was very short, that was a very short, uh, hmm. <laughs> I had Taro for like half an hour and she died and they died already. Oh well, oh well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not killing them on purpose. <laughs> I'm not. I, I promise I'm not killing them on purpose. Someone feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. Let's put points in the mechanical so we can fix our car. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Silver so singer in a campfire, resting before a brutal day tomorrow. Tell scary stories to myself. Uh, let's just go to sleep. I wish I was playing more video games and less hiding from zombies. There's a Twinkie truck on the road. It's upside down and the door to the back is locked tight. Sylvan salivates about the bounty of processed corn syrup that must be inside. Uh, ignore it for health reasons. Smash it something heavy. <gasps> Someone finds a big rock and then swings hard at the lock. He ends up smashing his hand pretty bad instead of getting the truck open. Aww. On the bright side, there's I have more food for myself. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's Hifumi Dot! Recruit Hifumi Dot. Nice, nice. Well, no use turning back now. Mm hmm. I'll drive around a desk around a group of sites to make a stop for supplies. Let's check a uh, suburb. To twink for the twink. I'm not a twink. How dare you? Oh, me and Hiffy have the same haircut. <laughs> uh, I don't see a lot of very useful things around here. Uh, let's not go that way. I mean, no, I don't. I don't know what that is, but I'm not one. <laughs> oh, we're not finding anything here. Besides the sax, I like the sax actually. Hmm? What? 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 I don't know what you mean. Aversion to guns is gonna get him squad wiped again. I don't need guns. I don't need guns. Guns aren't even that good anyway. Food. Food. Broom. Check one more house, and then we'll leave at like seven. Uh, medicine? Medicine. Mm. 
What? Okay, okay, okay. A lot of zombies came in all at once. We're leaving, we're leaving, Heffy. Come on. Heffy? Uh... Heffy? Okay, <laughs> we're leaving. <laughs> start the car, start the car, start the car! <laughs> Sylvan goes against the judgment camps in the city apartment because there's no zombies around. When he wakes up, the building's on fire. Up. Uh, run, run right now. Gosh, okay. That's fine, we still have plenty of supplies left. While driving on a death road, someone decides to make a stop for supplies. Uh, mm, commercial row. Mm. Muscle bomb gym is empty. Camper's Depot. <gasps> nice food. Oh, fishing pole. Uh, I'll switch out this umbrella for the gun. Have some bullets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have this food. The machete probably isn't very good since it's all rusty. Ernie's hardware. Oh, guess! <gasps> Perfect. What is this? Leaf blower. Uh, oh, more gas. Da, 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 da. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> I hope I can repair this car later. Whoa, it's Z Zero! Oh my god, B Z Zero. It's nice to see a familiar face. He hasn't seen Sylvan yet, and he's really busy picking his nose. Nice, okay, you can you can help me repair the car then. Perfect, perfect. Uh, Z Zero said that he had his own car stashed nearby and that it's a pretty sweet ride. Would you like to switch to Z Zero's car? Kinda wanna keep my car. Hmm, okay. Let's see your let's see your car. My car's pretty broken. Oh, wait. <gasps> That's actually a really nice car. The group is ambushed by a yelling man. Sylvan is gonna ignore him completely. Sylvan doesn't acknowledge the ranting man at all. He gets so confused by this that he becomes quiet and wanders off. Sylvan wasn't paying attention the whole time and gets more drawn into his own little world. Very accurate. <laughs> Another meat shield? No, no. No, no, no. The group stumbles upon a Swoleflex Home Strength and Fitness Machine, TM. You don't see these much anymore. After all, the lawsuit, lawsuits against it and the government ordered recalls. Pick someone to use a Swoleflex and probably get killed. What's my health at? <laughs> I have full health. I'll probably be fine. The machine starts this patented automated total body bodybuilding regiment. Someone's body makes audible snapping and crunching sounds. How horrifying. <gasps> My strength increases though. Okay. I can take one more hit. I can take one more hit. Ah. 
Machine clamps sold in a place for its innovative gymnastic simulator. A high tension cable snaps free and whips around. There's no time to react to it. My fitness increases, volume hurt. But we have plenty of medicine, we're fine. Group camps for the night. <laughs> in the morning there's a moose outside the camp. It looks injured and just and is just glaring at the group. Even injured, a moose is a really powerful creature. Probably best not to mess with it. Oh, what if I treat his injury and he joins our party, though? Sylvan wrestles the face. I don't know if I'm strong enough for that. Treat its injury. Nice. Sylvan tries to help the injured moose. He patches it up a little. The moose is too confused by this gesture of kindness to maul him. Nice. <laughs> Road ahead has been flooded out. But it looks like the car could still maybe get through. Uh, Sylvan, let's jump it. Yeah. The group spots a makeshift ramp and has this spectacularly dangerous idea to try to jump the flooded part of the road. The car builds up great speed, hits the jump, and sails right over the obstacle. Nice. Mm -hmm. I can feel a sense of dread. Something dangerous is coming. The road seems like it's getting steadily more crowded with the undead. And they're getting riled up. The group runs into a training camp. I hope it's a training camp. What are you selling? Spare gas? No. I could use some more. Uh, well, we're good on most things, actually. It wouldn't hurt to have more uh, medical stuff. Let's give him 10. Nice, okay. I need to heal myself after using that exercise machine. <laughs> Junkyard. I could get another uh, crowbar here. Ah, okay, I need to find another combination. Himbo team? No. We're not himbos. <laughs> Grab this. Uh, open the safe and then let's get out of here. Let's take 15 food. And we'll go. We're looking good on supplies, I think. We have a ton of food. Uh, it gets late, and there's no great place to camp. So zombies, I'll go around. Uh, I'll stay up. Nice, okay. The car is smoking? It's fine. That's... <laughs> We're out of gas, though. We lost that super nice car. But 
Without a car, the group is a sitting duck for bandits. The group is ambushed by awkward bandits that apologize for the robbery. They are like they are likely new at this. They man nine food to pass safely. Alright, that's not bad. How much health do I have? I could fight them. I'll fight them. The group knows that every single one of their supplies are essential for their chances of reaching Canada, so they fight. That's fine. The group continues walking through the countryside. It is very eventful, but at least there are no zombies or dangers in sight. For the first time in a long time, they are able to drop their guard and walk in some form of peace. While walking along the outskirts of town, Sylvan finds a small sporting goods store. It's picked clean of loot. Oh, okay, we found an SUV. Nice. Mm -hmm. Group takes shelter in a Wonker Burger, which is a chain of burg restaurant, burg restaurants before the apocalypse. Unfortunately, they serve real food, so it should all be spoiled by now. To their great surprise, there's an untouched and still hot Wonker Burger right on the table. It is the greased Wonker Slider, a, a tricky burg that might slip out of your hands. Who will eat this burg? Translator note, burg means burger. Let's let Zet eat it. Oh my god. Zet Zero devours a burg. The greased Wonker Slider confers its blessing. Increased fitness and dexterity. Mm -hmm. We're doing great. Ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba. Training camp, let's go. Is there anyone selling anime? I want to buy anime. <laughs> this group sees a woman standing near a stockpile of crates. The crates seem to contain a large amount of food and drink. Uh, oh, cavalry rifle's not worth one food. Uh, bombs, they don't need bombs. What are you selling? Shotgun. Oh! My weapons are so quiet, you'll attract much less zombies per shot. Hmm. Sure. Let's get a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I'm fully back up. Group accidentally serves a lot of undead while scouting the city. Oh no! Are you serious? Their only chance is running through a tunnel in the road. No! Okay, this is gonna be hard. I'm gonna need to get this. Uh, let's switch these. No, this and then this. What does that have? A frying pan. I'll give him a flashlight too. Alright, let's go. We just gotta run through. Sit. Just run through, don't- We can't stop, we can't stop, we can't stop. Come on, come on, come on. Is that no? Is that? Oh god, oh my god, oh my god, please. Is that please hurry? Wait, are we just supposed to survive? How am I gonna- No! <gasps> How are we supposed to get through? Where do we go? Oh no, 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 no. Oh god, there's a sea of zombies here. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. Ah, uh, Zet, okay, good, good. Okay, they all followed us down the tunnel. Uh, uh. Come 
one's at. Come on. How long are we supposed to wait? Hold on. Does it let us know? What am I supposed to do? Oh, not go here, not go here, not go here. Okay, Zet, Zet's taking over. Uh, uh. Alright, 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 alright. Zet's the main character now. Never mind. Runs over. <laughs> uh, okay, that was fun. Uh, there was a dead end. I thought we were supposed to run to the end. Darn. Uh, okay, I think <laughs> I think I'll leave it off there for now. Oh well, oh well. I'm definitely gonna play this again because <laughs> I I do love this game, and we didn't get to see all of the uh, custom characters I made, so hopefully we'll see them again on the stream. Mhm. Mm but yeah, for now I think I'm going to end things here. Uh, I believe Reina is gonna be uh, streaming in a little bit, so uh, let me actually. I will go and get the link to her stream. Give me one second. Yeah. Rina is going to be streaming uh, Potion Permit in a little bit. And you guys can go and watch that here. <laughs> but for now, I will see you guys on the next adventure. Goodbye! Thank you.